Hey, how's it going, guys? So just a little disclaimer before the video starts. I just want to apologize for any stutters and the uh, random FPS drops. By no means do I have the best PC. I try my best to keep the frame rate in the picture and everything as smooth as I can, but it will not it's be perfect. Such a shame. I'm really sorry for that. The poor production on my part, honestly. I plan to have it better in the next video. I mean, I already got to figure it out. It was a couple mods conflicting, and yeah. Anyway, please enjoy, and uh, yeah, have a good day. Hey. No, hey, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to uh, to meet our friends. Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch easy, him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. Come here, you. I'm just kidding these bastards. You got it. Yeah, I hit like a girl. <laughs> oh, he ain't getting up from that. We can deal with these fellers. Go get Javier. Hey, tough guy. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Go on, Tommy. You must be the village idiot, huh? Yeah. You're going down in the mud. You okay, yeah. Arthur? Yeah. All right. I got this son of a bitch. Don't take that from him. I said this before, didn't I? Put oh, his face in the mud. All right. Right. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it 
seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Mm. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. We got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Hey, they're stopping. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Wait here. He's still reeling them Gentlemen. in. Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take She's the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Come on! Oh, you bitches! Let's push out!
All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Take them down! Goddamn army of these bastards. How much is Charles bounty? Maybe we should turn them in ourselves. Still time. Whoa! On top of the tower! Who's got a shot on him? You know we go kill you, right, boy? Uh, come on! Fancy seeing you here! Let's get Sean. You're making a heavy work of this, aren't you? <clears throat> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <clears throat> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. The Cattleman is an amazing revolver. Probably the most cowboy revolver ever. I'd even consider it to be Arthur's cannon weapon, if you had one. But I wanted something better. And I knew just the place to get one. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. to you with that mask. Let me Just... into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Looks like a nice little business you got. Thank you. What the hell? Good to see you again, pardon? So, what are you aiming for today? It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving.
please. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first feller. Okay, go to work. He's down. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out at a distance. I can do that. Hurry up already. Good work. You moving on the camp? I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. <laughs> you know that on my name? I turned most of them into buzzard bait, didn't I? It's on! We move quick, we move hard. You stay here! Turn and tail. Leave them. Comb still here. Hey, 
He said Cone be in cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Give it up. You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Como Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh. One more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Me and... Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. Where'd you go? Hey, you! Have you seen a priest? What's your problem? Have you seen a priest all drunk and crazy? Leave me alone. Don't make me shoot you. Shoot me? Why would you shoot me? Have you seen a priest? Yes, he went that way. Angry jackass. You crazy? What are you doing? Hey! Calm down! Hey! What the hell? Get your you hands off man. him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! Oh, 
my god! You killed him! I'm gonna keep the law on you! Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? I'm warning you, put that thing up. You better move along now, you hear? Find a skirt to hide under. Yeah, get out of here. Look at you. God damn, I'm monkeyless. Here we are. Come on, get this door open. Ah, thank you, friend. Now give me a gun. Hey, you. Bye now! <laughs> Why the hell you do that? I'll tell you later. Come on! What the hell is wrong with you? Follow me, Arthur! Don't go that way! Let's get the hell out of here! Unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you. Let's get out of here. You have finally lost Keep your damn mind. Goddamn maniac. I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you We should be long gone by now. They got something of mine. I ain't leaving without. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see some. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Go! You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap! Excuse me a minute, Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. You're gonna wish you killed 
I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. Mm. You... And me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. Bye now. Yeah. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. I'm working... <laughs> I'm <laughs> working as hard as I can. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Uh... Believe me. Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? 
Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. Not the best. Hey, Arthur. You and me both. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. property. Take that dadgum mask off, you hear? Keep your comments to yourself. You need to move on now, friend. Shut up! I'm a war- Let's It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Well, well, good luck. 
Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Finish up here and join us on board. All right, get on that train! Hey. You bastard! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and you get shot! Let's go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go! Let's make this quick, Please. people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! Don't do this! I ain't got nothing. We're gonna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Honey! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Okay! In the bag, everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games! Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You guys need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why? that? Quick, come on! I, I don't want to get hurt. I'll do I am everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Money in... bitch. Come on, cup it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> this time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. 
We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Hey, there's a few more than torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. We got more on the left. And we got more coming from the trees there. Behind us! We got more of the bastards riding in! How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all Enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkertons here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. <laughs> okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Oh, 
Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. You'll get the message. That ought to do it. Not everything. But After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromise. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Lepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's right, I'll make a move. Got where I am by Why not? You rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No. We'll push the wagon. Arthur, shoot someone! I'm trying! Get behind the wagon as we push, Arthur. You can use it as cover. It's over for you. What are you doing? Again. Looks like we're clear. Let's go. 
put Strauss on the back of You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Get out of here! You're gonna die! Perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> 